Hi and welcome to another episode of Peacemake TV. In this video for WooCommerce, we're going to be taking a look at how to set up and use coupons on your online store. So let's take a look at all that right now. So we've loaded up our dashboard in WordPress and we're now ready to start creating coupons. So what we need to do is come down to WooCommerce and we're going to come down onto coupons. This is the first time you've used coupons, you're going to get a screen like this, which allows you to start creating those coupon codes to use on your store. So all we need to do is click on add coupon and that will take us through and we can start putting in some of the information we want to use. Now the first thing we can do is put the coupon code. Now this, you can use any kind of coupon code you want, but I would recommend that if you're using multiple different ways of disseminating this information, so for example using Facebook and Twitter and Instagram and things along those lines, it's good to sort of put something preceding your code that has some relevance to the method that you're using to sort of promote that code. Because it means that then tracking all these coupon codes you might put out there becomes a lot easier and you can find out what kind of market method is working for you so if Facebook is working well you'll see that because your coupon codes again use the most may have FB or FB 2017 something along those lines just some sort of good practice to use for this example let's just put a code of sample 17 now as you can see the next option we have is we could put an optional description into our coupon again it's one of those things that if you think it's relevant to what you're doing it's quite useful so the next thing we've got is the meat and bones of what we can do with our coupon codes. You can see we've got three tabs on the left hand side, general, usage restriction and usage limits. And we've also got a couple of different things where we've got the little question mark that tells us exactly what that particular option is for. So you've always got these sort of help things going on. Anything that doesn't have that is kind of self-explanatory. So the first thing we can do is specify the kind of discount type we want to apply. As you can see, we've got a percentage discount. We've got a fixed basket to discount and we've got a fixed product discount. So for this one, we're going to keep it simple and we're going to put a percentage discount. So we'll select that from the options and then we can say what's the coupon amount so we can give the percentage value in there. So we'll say 10%. Allow free shipping. So you can see this gives us the option to say if we check this box, it grants free shipping and a free shipping method needs to be set up to actually allow this option. So what I recommend is if you're not used to dealing with shipping, there's a video that goes over the basics of using shipping methods in WooCommerce. I'll link that in the description below. So check that out once you've seen this video to give you a sort of good foundation in how you can use different shipping options. Next up, we've got the coupon expiry date. So you can see we can click in there, we get a date pop up and we can choose how long this coupon lasts for. So for this example, let's just set it to cancel out at the end of the month. As you can see, that puts the date in there for us. We can now jump over to the usage restrictions and this is where we can kind of really control how this particular coupon code can be used in our store. So you can see we've got a lot more options available and as you can see again on the right hand side, each of these different options has a little pop-up question mark that allows us to see exactly what this function or feature is used for. So you've always got that help available. So you can see you've got a minimum spend. In other words, do we want this particular coupon code to have a minimum amount of money spent before it can be used? So this is a great way of saying 10% off if you spend over £50 or $50, for example. So you can put that in there if you want to. And you've also got the option for a maximum spend. So for this example, we'll just leave that to be $1 or pound, depending upon your currency. Maximum, we'll leave out as it is. Individual use only, so we can check this box if we want this to be used on its own. It can't be used in conjunction with other coupons. So for this example, we'll say that's what we want. Next up, we've got to exclude sale items. So we may have marked down a particular product and we don't want to give another discount on top of that. Well, you can check this box if you can say you, you want this to apply to say items on sale. So we've got that option there. And as you can see, there's a few other options that sort of tie into that depending upon the per basket coupons to be used and the type of coupon that you choose. So read that to make sure that you're setting everything up the way you need to based upon your particular usage. Next up, we've got products, so we can apply this discount to a specific product, or we can exclude particular products. So we've got an option to really fine tune exactly what products this coupon code can apply to. Obviously, if you leave those blank, it'll apply to every product. If you want to exclude certain items, you can do that. You can do the same thing then with product categories. We can say we want to apply this coupon to a certain category, or we can exclude certain categories. 
And the final option we have in this section is email restrictions. So we could, if we wanted to, restrict the usage of this coupon based upon someone's email address. We may want someone to not have access to this, but we want to mail it out to everybody. When you have that option there, you can limit what email address is our sort of blocked from being able to use this coupon code. Finally, we have the usage limits, and you can see we have three simple options. The usage limit per coupon, so you may say this is only available to the first 100 people that use it, where you can pop that 100 in there. You can limit the usage on X items. The next option we have is to limit usage to X number of items. So as you can see, if we take the mouse over, so this is a maximum number of individual items this coupon can apply to when using product discounts. So you can leave it blank if you want to apply to all of the products in your basket, for example. And finally, we have the usage limit per user. We may say that this is only allowed to be used one time per user. Well, we can put that in there. If we want to do it 10 times, we can put that in there as well. So that's really all there is to create in your coupon codes. Once you're happy with everything on there, you can click on publish. That will create that coupon code and you can now start giving that out to people. So let's take a look at how you actually use that when you place an order. Okay, so I've jumped over now to the front end of the website. As you can see, I've got a product in front of me. So what I'm going to do is click on Add to Basket, and that'll take me over then in Ladder to the Basket. I can click on View Basket, and we can go and take a look at that in there. So you can see it gives us all the information we used to when we're dealing with the checkout process in WooCommerce. And we now have the option for to apply a coupon code. So simply paste our coupon code in there, hit Apply Coupon. That goes through now and takes our 10% off. So you can see the coupon sample 17, the amount of money that's been taken off, and then it totals everything up afterwards. So it's really, really easy to deal with this kind of thing. And depending upon the options that you set when you create your coupon code will depend upon how you can use it. But really, they're pretty simple and straightforward and a great way of incentivizing people purchasing items on your store. Well, that's pretty much it for this video. I hope you found it useful. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and smash that subscribe button to be kept up to date with all of the new content we add every single week. If you have any comments, questions, or feedback on this video or anything else on the channel, please pop those in the comments section below. Until next time, take care.